Welcome back to Magical Task Force. Termentic here. And Potter's Calamity Brilliant Event number two has officially started just a little while ago. And I got to tell you, there's been a couple curveballs that were thrown at us. I experienced like a 20 minute experience glitch. I'll get into all of that, but I just wanted to go over what I have learned so far playing for the first hour. I've gotten through the first two quests out of the four. Um, there are some changes from what was originally reported, so I will go over that, and uh, I will tell you exactly what I found out while I played that first hour. So I don't think a lot of us realized that when they called it Potter's Calamity Brilliant Event 1 and 2, that the two, we knew that the two events were tied together, but I didn't think anybody really realized how closely tied they were. The first instance that kind of gave me a red alarm was this. When you first opened the game, instead of it, after the, the verbiage going through and them telling you what's going on, instead of it being like, brilliant event, do this nothing else happened it went directly into the game now i'll get more into that in just a bit but i do want to cover the quest so this is the first quest of the four it's pretty close to what was reported collect five ingredients or portmanteaus on the map very easy return five medium foundables again you can actually use the brilliant event foundables in order to achieve that the next one is dine at ends twice again extremely extremely simple and easy should not have a problem doing any of these three i finished it pretty much in a matter of minutes now for the rewards you do actually get some experience you get two red restricted books you get one of the red socks which was another red alarm kind of going up uh, referring back to the Potter Brilliant Event 1. Now onto the second quest. You have to recover two Brilliant Golden Snitch Foundables. Very easy to find. Perform ten great spell casts. We keep getting masterful spell casts uh, on the predictions, but they've always turned out to be great. The next one is where I'm stuck at. I need to unlock four port, uh, port key portmanteaus. That's just going to take a little bit. All I got to do is just walk around. I just haven't had that much time. Now, you do actually get one of the event foundables from uh, completing this along with some green books. Now, for the next two, these aren't actually correct. They're very close. Uh, quest number three is return four high threat foundables, return two brilliant snitches instead of the three, and the last one is correct. It's for Dark Arts Family. Now, I believe that the rewards are still the same for this. Uh, it's just the quests are slightly tweaked. Now, going on to the fourth part of the quest, it, this one's completely different, really. It's, uh, from what I've been able to find, it's brew eight potions, use eight potions, and then defeat three common wizards. Now, you're only going to be able to find those common wizards in fortresses, so this one might be a little bit of a pain for everybody. I know a lot of people hate doing the fortress battles. I do have good news, though, regarding the foundable found from the fortress on this. I'll get into that later. But again, those rewards should be pretty much on point. Now, when I first logged into the game, I used a brain elixir like I normally do, and I swear for the first 20 minutes of the event, I was getting like six, 700 XP. Now, I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this. It only lasted, like I said, for about 20 minutes, and then it disappeared. I, my game crashed, came back up, and I was only getting about four or 500. But here's the thing that nobody really, I don't think, no, realized, is that all of the foundables that were in the wild, Hedwig and Harry Potter, are out again so that means that if for some reason you weren't able to complete the first part of the uh, brilliant event you should be able to now i cannot speak for fortresses or port keys i have not opened up any uh, port keys so i don't know if you can get those uh, fragments but you can get hedwig and you can get potter now going into fortresses i decided that you know what uh, last time there was so much problem with fortresses there the, the drop rate for the foundable was so low i was just going to go and actually try to do it and on top of it i also realized that because of this being technically the same event you don't start back over to where you get a ton of runes right at the beginning you have the runes that you had from the first potter brilliant event so i had roughly about 11 or so and i was like you know what i'm going to try myself a fortress i'm glad i saved some of them and i didn't use all of them because normally after a brilliant event i'll go through and i'll actually just use those runes just to use them and, and bring up the brilliant event um registry now i i went through 
did the battles, and it wasn't really that bad, to be and honest. And I, I don't know if I was lucky or if the increased spawn rate, because I know that they tweaked it last week, I was able to get all three of the fragments that I needed for the Hogwarts Heroes Daily Profit uh, just by doing three fortresses. I did a level five first, and then I did two level fours, and it was extremely uh, easy to get those. I mean, I, I remember I did, a I want to say, about a good four or five last time and got nothing so with just being able to get all three fragments right off the bat i love it so like i was saying this is just an extension of the original uh potter brilliant event so you're going to have to use like i said the same runes you're going to find some of the same foundables popping up like hedwig and harry potter um again i'm not sure about the port keys as soon as i get confirmation about the port keys i will let you all know i'm not sure if it will be just these fragments or the other ones as well now you only have one foundable that you need to find in the wild which is the snitch then you have only one foundable that needs to be found in fortresses as well one foundable that has to be found in those 7k brilliant port keys but you're given three of them actually from the quest so these quests are going to be critical and again the only one that i'm worried about is the fourth one defeat three common wizards my name is Tremantic, though. If you have found this helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks, and as always, I will catch you next time.